Welcome to Mind Stretch. Today, we're tackling one of the most profound mysteries in physics and everyday life, the arrow of time. Why do we remember the past, but not the future? Why does time seem to flow in only one direction, even though many laws of physics work equally well forwards and backwards? Buckle up as we explore the science behind time's one-way street. Most of the fundamental equations in physics, like Newton's laws or Maxwell's equations, don't specify a preferred direction for time. They work just as well if you run the clock backwards. Yet our everyday experience says time moves forward from the past to the future. Physicists call this forward flow the arrow of time. Whether we're watching a cup shatter on the floor or the sun rise in the morning, we never observe these events in reverse. This consistency across all scales from daily life to cosmic evolution hints that something deeper beyond just human perception is at play. At the heart of the arrow of time is the second law of thermodynamics, which states that the entropy or the measure of disorder of an isolated system tends to increase over time. Simply put, things break down, wear out, and become more disordered. A neat room gets messy, and a hot cup of coffee eventually cools down to match the room's temperature. This tendency toward increasing disorder provides a kind of direction in time. It's much easier for a system to go from order to disorder than the other way around. That's why shattered glass doesn't spontaneously reassemble and why we can't unmix cream from our coffee. The second law doesn't just apply to cups and coffee. It applies to the entire universe. After the Big Bang, the universe was in a relatively low entropy state, hot, dense, and surprisingly uniform. Over billions of years, structures like galaxies, stars, and black holes formed, but the total entropy has been on an upward trend overall. As our cosmos ages, stars burn out, black holes slowly evaporate and the universe approaches a state known as heat death, where all energy is evenly distributed and no significant processes can occur. This cosmic trajectory from low to high entropy underpins the grandest scale of the arrow of time. But how does this cosmic principle connect to our experience? Part of the answer lies in memory and causality. Our brains record events by creating ordered structures, neural pathways, that reflect what just happened. This storage process itself increases local entropy, but it allows us to remember the past. We can't remember the future because there's no existing record of it. Every moment, our brains move from a less entropic state to a more entropic state, keeping track of events in a forward sequence. Meanwhile, causality, the chain of cause and effect reinforces our sense of time's forward momentum. Some physicists wonder if the arrow of time could be reversed under special conditions or if there might be regions of the universe where time flows backwards. Others question whether the universe's low entropy beginnings might be the real puzzle. Despite ongoing debates, the majority view is that the second law of thermodynamics is the most concrete explanation we have. Whether or not time inherently moves forward, our best scientific understanding is that increasing entropy makes forward time progression the most probable path for our reality. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the nature of time. We may not be able to rewind the clock, but we can gain insight into why it keeps ticking in one direction. If this exploration shifted your perspective, give this video a thumbs up, share it with friends, and subscribe to Mind Stretch for more deep dives into life's biggest mysteries. Until next time, remember, entropy is on the rise, so make the most of every moment.